A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Their platform makes building websites simple and easy, but more on that later. All right, so this summer, we've kind of been teaching ourselves to sail from scratch, and I feel like we're getting the hang of it. But because we basically started with zero sailing experience, we've been neglecting a very important skill we need going forward to really start cruising full time. So our goal for today is to sleep on anchor for the very first time. We rented a mooring for the whole summer, so we've just been sleeping there. But sleeping on anchor is kind of like an essential part of living on a boat full time because moorings are kind of expensive. And I don't know, they also like don't seem fully reliable. Like the mooring we were on this summer broke and just drifted away. And while we were at Cuddy Hunk, a different mooring there broke and two boats almost collided because they were just drifting. So I feel like anchoring, even though you can like drag anchoring, mess it up, it's kind of like all on you, you know? Like you're the one in charge, you know what your gear is. And if you're dragging, it's probably because the conditions have changed or you didn't let out enough scope. So today we're gonna try sleeping on anchor for the very first time. We'll probably end up doing a night watch because we'll chicken out. But before we can practice anchoring, we got to sail all the way to Cuddy Hunk, which should take us like four to six hours, I think. It's an upwind sail and Penelope does not like going upwind and we're a little rusty on that too. So yeah, we just got to cross Buzzards Bay and then we will try and find a nice spot to anchor for tonight. Great job. That was wonderful, Lou. I think this might be caught. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Ready? Yeah. You got it out? Yep. Wow, and this actually is perfect for navigation. How's the new handle working out? Love it. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa! Good job! When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Bay now and it's been such a beautiful day of sailing. I feel like we got the hang of upwind sailing much better than we did last time, don't you think? Yeah. And our tacking was smooth, which always makes me feel happy. I feel like when you get a good tack and everything goes well, it's like, I don't know, it's very satisfying. And so it's been atrocious weather of late, like 20 to 30 knots and thunderstorms and waves and crazy small boat warnings and things like that or small Craft, small craft advisory. Small craft advisory. And so today is a glorious Sunday on the water and it feels really good. And I'm happy Penelope's still in the water. <laughs> land ho, Captain, land ho. All right, so we are approaching the island of Cuddy Hunk for the second time. The first time we went there, was kind of nerve wracking. You okay, Dana? Like, not really. <laughs> There's like, you can see the sand. How is it 12 feet of water? Oh my God. It's 
so close to everything. But this is our second time, so we kind of know the deal now. And we're hoping that we can find a nice little spot to anchor. The bottom supposedly has a lot of eel grass. So our friend Matt told us that you kind of just like look for a light spot and that could be like a sand patch. And then you want to just drop your anchor right into that little light zone and try and get it to stick right away so you don't go through the whole area with all the eel grass. But the sail has gone a lot faster than we thought. It's only like noon now. So it's definitely going to be under a four hour sail, which is cool. And that's also really nice because it means we can test out our anchor all afternoon. And I feel like if we get a lot of hours on anchor and we have no movement and the conditions are good, then we might just set a couple anchor alarms and go to sleep, which would be really nice. Take it on the channel, round two. Okay, babe, the plan is go through the channel. Then we're gonna go to the back corner, but not too far in where it's shallow, where it's still like nine feet deep and be just far enough away from the moorings that we don't swing and hopefully it's not crowded so we don't really have to worry that much. But last time it was like a little bit snug in there, remember? Yeah. And there was a lot going on. So just stay calm and everything is fine. <laughs> was like so much calmer yeah. and we made it in no time and the mooring field doesn't look so crowded so hopefully we can find a good spot to anchor and then make some lunch but it's gorgeous out we probably should have brought the dinghy <laughs> whatever all good yeah good job so let's give them like if we could anchor like straight ahead. Yeah, but you want to actually like drop it like not so far behind because we're gonna fall off like. Yeah, that's true. Pretty far. Like when we did it with Cody, he was like, okay, go like pretty close to them. Uh -huh. Now drop it and then go. So cool. I'm just gonna do what he taught me. Yeah. So we set out 70 feet of chain and the depth here is 12 feet at the moment and on the chart it says 11 so I think we're a little bit above low tide and so hopefully that's enough chain. We put on some anchor alarms and now we're just going to sit tight. There are a few boats a little bit close to us, they're not that close, but we're just going to keep an eye on it and then decide later if we're going to do a rotating anchor watch or if we're going to both sleep at the same time. I think I might stay off Lou. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, it's fine. And it's really calm in here, which is really nice, a change of pace. It's like bathtub, like flat right now. And I think it's supposed to, the wind is supposed to die tonight, even more so. So I feel like that should be even safer. But at the same time to wake up to like hitting a bo another boat is just not something I want to deal with right now. So I think we should just play it safe. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Lunchtime? Yeah. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Should probably try these artichokes too, right? You probably should. No more olive. 
taste test. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can we put it in the sauce? Mm -hmm. Soy sauce. Winter. five o'clock luckily I can sleep at any time <laughs> so I'm gonna go to sleep now and then you just wake me up when you're too tired mm -hmm. and then you tell me like how it's going like whatever yeah I'll take the first, the first watch are you gonna wear like a headlamp or something I'll figure it out you're gonna figure it out we have like a really bright flashlight but I don't want to bother anyone. But it's also like we haven't budged at all. I don't think there's going to be any problems. No, but... But I'm sleepy, so why not go to sleep? <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm, it's cold. You might want to bring your other blanket up there. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you don't bother my beauty rest. Sleep well. Thanks, babe. Good night. Sleep well. You put the thingy in here. Oh, I'm still gonna read for a little bit. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Oh, it's nice to lay down. Oh. <sighs> So it's 6 p.m. and for some reason I'm already getting sleepy. I feel like it's kind of like New Year's where when you have to stay up you just get really tired <laughs> really really early. But we'll get through this. Alright, it is 7 p.m. Anchor hasn't budged at all. So it's 8 p.m. We were supposed to switch shifts at like 2 a.m. But of course, you tell Dana to fall asleep, and she decides- I couldn't sleep, guys. I usually can sleep at any moment, but when I had to sleep, it made it very difficult. So I'm gonna try to be awake now, and you can sleep, and we haven't moved at all. No. No, right? Not at all, and I think the wind is gonna die soon, so. I missed you. <laughs> and I, got, I missed the sunset, and it looked really pretty yeah. through my window when I took my eye mask up, but I feel wide awake. <laughs> and so I'm sure I'll knock on your door in two hours and say, can I sleep now? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> it's nine o'clock and it's very peaceful outside and the stars are really bright. Um, I'm just going to keep holding watch, but we aren't moving, so it's very relaxing. And I'm just reading a book. See you in a bit. It's 10 o'clock. Still calm, still beautiful, though getting a little bit sleepy. It's midnight, definitely getting sleepier, but I just finished my book. It's really good. Homegoing, you should read it. That's a beautiful novel. Um, yeah, definitely still not moving and debating if in a few hours I just want to go to sleep. But. Okay, it is 1 a.m. and I am. Morning, it is 6 
Sam. I came on Watch It 5 and the sun is not up yet but it will be shortly and yeah it's been a beautiful night. I'm surprised how much four hours can make you feel refreshed for sleeping. First night at Anchor. Yeah. Wow. How are you feeling? Wiped. Really? Yeah. Come look at the sunrise. It's so pretty. I think it'll make you happy. super fun and really peaceful. Um, I feel like it would be a little overwhelming to do it again and also do the night watch. So I'm glad that we're gonna go and have a sleep on our mooring, but I'm really happy we did it. And I feel like it was a huge thing to check off our to-do list for like first time trying things. And I'm happy that it worked and that we didn't drag at all. Um, and now we're just on a really slow sail back home because it's barely blowing at all. But it's kind of nice. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Um, if you are looking to start your creative life, a website is a key ingredient to that. And they have such a great platform with amazing templates and we love it. We've been using it for years and it really that website supports us so much. And for all of you guys who have been buying our book, we really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. We're so grateful to have you guys here for the adventure. I hope you enjoyed the first night at Anchor with us and we will see you next week.